much. Today in Houston, the researchers behind NASA's twin study of astronaut Scott Kelly and his twin Mark spoke publicly for the first time about their findings. Adam Bennett showing us now why NASA says this new information is moving them now one step closer to putting a human on Mars and how these findings may actually improve life here on Earth. Inside Space Center Houston, groundbreaking findings from above. And that's what causes our cells. Or broken down to the public. Was it was fighting off an infection the whole time. By the researchers themselves. Margot Hyber and her mom drove in from Austin to see this. The recent college grad is hoping to work with genetics. So that was really cool to actually be able to speak with them and see kind of where their research is going, how they got there. This was the first time ever for NASA to do this level of genomic analysis in an astronaut. This study meticulously tracked astronaut Scott Kelly during nearly a year in space. Researchers compared him to his identical twin, retired astronaut Mark Kelly, who stayed on Earth during the same time frame. So it seems as if the body is continually adapting to the spaceflight environment for these long duration missions. Drastically more frequent gene expression, a thicker artery and retina, longer protective caps on chromosomes linked to aging, and an immune system on high alert were just a few of the key findings. Researchers also found that most of Kelly's changes in space returned to normal within six months back on Earth, with a few exceptions. When uh, Scott returned to the ground, we saw a more major drop in cognitive performance. And so it took him much longer to get back to normal. Uh, then after relative to his first uh, ISS mission. Researchers say this information is crucial as they plan much longer manned trips to Mars. It's also research they say helps on Earth. Some of the lessons that we learned from this study and then even related studies have already helped how we look at patients and hospitals here. Building blocks for the next round of studies and the next generation of researchers. Adam Bennett, KHOU 11 News. Those researchers say they need to study more astronauts to see if these changes are simply unique to Scott Kelly. Right now, they're planning to study five more one-year missions. All right, get inside. Enjoy that.